And Pack Rat will kill even Flock in just like two to three turns. So he's even is going to need to draw a Supreme Verdict or a Planner Cleansing, or he's just going to be dead. He just plays another rat, the cheaper route. Yeah, the cheaper rat. And uh, he, he can even do that without really risking a quick and Supreme Verdict right. too much here. So in comes the team. He's cracking for 14 here, which, <laughs> yeah. which is going to add up. Even has to have quick and Verdict or Planner Cleansing. Nope. And then there we have it. <laughs> the turn after that, Owen would threaten lethal with Mutavolt. On October 5th, 2012, Magic's 59th expansion, Return to Ravnica, was the first set in the three-set Return to Ravnica block. This was Magic's first time revisiting Ravnica since the original block's release in 2005. Although having a similar feel to the original Ravnica block, Return to Ravnica gave players the feeling of nostalgia while also introducing many new mechanics to keep standard fresh. This set has many powerful spells and creatures that still hold up today, including cards like Deathrite Shaman, Supreme Verdict, and Sphinx's Revelation. In a set full of powerful cards, it was hard for many to stand out. However, one creature lurking below the surface was easily one of the best of the block, Pack Rat. Pack Rat is a 2 mana rat that casts for 1 black and 1 generic. Pack Rat's power and toughness is equal to the number of rats you control and has an activated ability for 1 black and 2 generic. You may discard a card from your hand to make a copy of Pack Rat at instant speed, making Pack Rat an extremely hard creature to remove. Although rats historically haven't been powerful in magic, Pack Rat was immediately hailed as not only the best rat in the game, but one of the best black 2 drops of all time. Pack Rat is also widely considered to be the best draft creature of all time due to its ability to snowball quickly if your opponent can't immediately remove it. Although seeing minor play in Standard upon its release, Pack Rat struggled to fit itself into the metagame. Its debut Pro Tour was a modern Pro Tour, which caused Pack Rat to sit the bench its first time around. The next two Pro Tours weren't promising either, as Pack Rat couldn't see the battlefield in formats full of Boros Reckoners. Thrag Tusks, and Restoration Angels. Upon the rotation of the Innistrad block, Pack Rat immediately became a much more powerful creature. Its ability to take over the game was put on full display at Pro Tour Theros, where Pack Rat was featured in Kentaro Yamamoto's Top 8 list. This list was a mono black devotion deck that took advantage of cards with black pips in their mana cost, like Lifebane Zombie, Desecration Demon, and Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Pack Rat soon became very good friends with Grey Merchant of Asphodel, as the copies Pack Rat produces also share its mana cost, making Grey Merchant of Asphodel's Enter the Battlefield ability drain for even more damage. Pack Rat was absent the next few Pro Tours, but came roaring back at its final Pro Tour, Pro Tour Magic 2015. Pack Rat was a standout card at the event, being a major player in Mono Black Devotion and White Black Midrange decks. I recently asked Michigan Pro Tour competitor Kyle Bogamus about his opinion on Pack Rat about its time in Standard. It was a cool card to be playable in Standard. Bioblight and Detention Sphere punished threats with the same name, so it wasn't broken. Pack Rat had interesting games deciding when to go all in and when to diversify threats. Pack Rat was also featured in two of the top eight lists, including Owen Turtenwald's Black White Mid Range deck. Owen's deck played finishers like Elspeth's Son's Champion and Blood Baron of Viscopa instead of Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Pack Rat was one of the best creatures in the format toward the end of its life in Standard, and helped Mono Black and White Black midrange decks be some of the best decks in the metagame. So where is Pack Rat now? Pack Rat has struggled to have a place in non-rotating formats such as Modern and Pioneer. In 2017, Pack Rat was a great finisher in September's deck of the month, Rat Moon. This was a black-red midrange deck that was packed full of removal, hand attack, and hard-to-answer threats such as Chandra, Torch of Defiance, and of course, Pack Rat. Pack Rat was also featured in Magic Arena's Historic Anthology 2, making Pack Rat legal in Historic and Explorer Arena's version of Pioneer. Pack Rat, being the best rat in the game, is always a 4 of in Rat Tribal decks in Pioneer that use Pack Rat as the main threat in the deck, with Rat Colony being essentially backup Pack Rats. Pack Rat has only received one reprint since its debut, that being in the Year of the Rat Secret Lair, featuring brand new artwork, 
along with its other rodent companions. Packrat continues to dominate in draft in the form of cube draft, where it is easily one of the best black creatures to draft. It even has a place in my own pioneer cube, where I will always gladly pick it if it happens to get passed to me. Packrat is one of Magic's most unique and powerful creatures, and with Phyrexia, all will be one, continuing to print more rat tribal cards, we could soon see the return of Packrat to the front of a metagame. I'm Commander Crane, and thanks for watching.